This video explains how to add a grid line to a plot that is consistent with the axis ticks of this plot. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the plot that we can draw with line two of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the plot function to draw the values ranging from one to 10 in a scatter plot. So if you run line two of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new scatter plot is appearing. And you can also see that this scatter plot does not have any grid lines yet. So in order to add grid lines to this plot, we can use the grid function, as you can see in line three of the code. And within the grid function, we can specify the positions of our grid lines. So if you run line three of the code, you can see that a new grid has been added to our plot. However, you can also see that the grid lines are not corresponding to the axis ticks in our plot. So if we want to add grid lines to a base R plot that are consistent with the ticks of this plot, we can use the code that you can see in lines five and six. So in line five, I'm first creating our plot once again without grid lines. And then in line six of the code, I'm using the grid function once again. However, this time I'm specifying null within the function instead of certain values. So if you run line six of the code, you can see that another grid line has been added to our plot. However, this time the grid lines are consistent with the axis ticks in our plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.